All Hi, right. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Raft of Wandering Otters, day four of 17 mile drive, or the fourth installment. We're doing this all in one day. But uh, we are at uh, two joined points here, right next door. One is the Restless, the Restless sea. sea. And it doesn't go to sleep. The sea never sleeps. Right. Just like rust in New York City. And uh, I am rust. rust. That's an old saying. Rust never sleeps. I never heard that. Yeah, so make the most of your life. I see. Maybe that was just Neil Young. I don't know. All right, so here we are at Restless Sea. Right next door is Point Joe. And here's what we're looking at right now. Choppy waves. Mm -hmm. Just really dramatic. Yeah. Although you can see stuff like this for free at uh, Point Pinos uh, near mm -hmm. Lamar yeah. and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever you do, get into my shop. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so let me show you where we are in the map here. Oop. That map is upside down. All right. So here we are. We were at... Spanish Bay in the previous installment, day three. Her t-shirt says her, the girl has no name. Oh. And his was about a quidditch. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are. We're at Restless Sea, parked here, seeing all this drama. Restless Sea. And then right next door is something called Point Joe. I'm going to go ahead and fill you in on them. Raft of Wandering Otters, come join us. Here we go. May be hard for me to talk at some of these spots here, but we'll see what I can do. Howdy. So you can see Spanish Bay over there is um, uh, a Silomar. Oh, go ahead, man. The Restless Sea. The Restless Sea earns its name from one of the most turbulent sections of coastline in Pebble Beach. Waves are constantly converging and crashing into each other, likely caused by submerged rocks. Man, that is dramatic. There's no question about it. <laughs> See these little... But that is kind of interesting. Most of the waves that we see here are coming this way, but look at that one's breaking that way. So, yeah, no doubt this is... Uh, a very tricky place to navigate. Why look, here's some otters in their natural habitat. Yeah. Rocks and fog spell disaster. Dense fog, dark nights and jagged rocks Pounding surf have always made navigating these waters difficult. On a foggy night in 1896, the iron hold St. Paul slammed into submerged rocks. The crew and livestock cargo were rescued immediately. After three months on the rock, the St. Paul sank. Ten years later, the Celia, steaming from Santa Cruz to Monterey, lost, became lost in fog and hit these rocks. Her crew and passengers escaped, but the cargo of lumber spilled into the sea. Today, accurate nautical charts and electronic uh, navigation equipment help captains avoid disaster. Yeah, I guess this is uh, kind of a shipwrecked rock. Oh, look it. If you're rich enough, not only can you belong to the Monterey, uh, Monterey uh, Peninsula Country Club, but you can actually have clubs 
that drive themselves. I like it. All right. So see the cormorants out there on the rock? Brant's cormorant. I didn't know that. They don't have waterproof feathers, so after diving underwater for fish, they must dry their feathers in the sun. Interesting. Interesting adaptation. Darwin or no? I don't know if this is somebody's idea of a laugh or what, but I can see a little, uh, it almost looks like a putting green or, or a tea. <laughs> let's see, <clears throat> let's see what the story with that is. Oh, I guess it is part of the golf course. Oh my goodness. Point Joe, early Mariners mistook mistook. Point Joe is the entrance to Monterey Bay, making it the, uh, the site of many shipwrecks. In the early 1900s, a man named Joe lived in a driftwood hut here, selling trinkets to tourists and tending goats. It is debated whether Joe was named for the point, or the point was named for Joe. Well, that's a good little local bit here. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, but I guess that is part of the golf course here. Wow. Not a gag at all. And this much I did know. Ice plant is not native here. It does thrive here. So it's maybe a, now a virtual native. But this is really interesting. I guess if you're a real pro, Here's, here's the ladies tee, there's the amateur tee, and then if you're a real pro, you go ahead and tee off from there, I don't know. Wow. So here we are at Point Joe. Can you imagine golfing out there? Gee whiz. I'm not trying to stir up anything, but believe it or not, uh, when we first moved here, right around 2010 or so, 2011, the AT&T Pebble Beach, uh, Tiger Woods was the, the number one golfer in the world. And at that time, Monterey Peninsula Country Club, you have to have, you have to be pure European blood only to be a member. And at that time, you had to be, um, there were certain ethnicities that were not allowed to even golf here and Tiger Wood was not allowed to golf here at the Monterey uh, Peninsula Country Club golf course as part of the I think it was the AT&T tournament so anyway a little, little bit of trivia and where I'm not trying to stir up anything they've since amended their policy so if there was a tournament here Tiger Woods could in fact golf here he still can't join the club though Yes, sir. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it. We're here at Restless Sea and Point Joe. And this is a raft of wandering otters, and we'll see you in the next one. We'll be at 17 mile drive part six.